Okay, what are you saying people and welcome back to another weekly analysis video now on the screen of the 10 pairs we'll be analyzing today But before we get into that make sure to subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on the video And whilst you're at it make sure you follow me on my telegram channel I'll leave a link to that in the description below So you post a lot of different training setups there throughout the week and you don't want to be missing out on that So make sure you check that out and also check out my instagram page I'll leave the handle there So you post a lot of different training setups there tips and tricks and just general advice to help you become a better forex trader so make sure you check all of that out links will be in the description but like i said we've got another weekly analysis video so let me stop talking and let's get into it first up we've got euro usd Okay, so for EURUSD on the daily chart, we did see a push higher to start off the week and we did see um, price hold this trend line here and I did say as long as price holds it, obviously price continued to create uh, higher highs in the market. And as you can see, that's exactly what happened. But then you can see Thursday and Friday's candle, we did see a lot of bearish momentum um, on those two days and we actually broke through that trend line. You can see on the four hourly chart, we did see a strong break to the downside past that trend line. So we are looking very bearish now. And I do think we could see potentially price continue to the downside to contest this key level here in the market for EURUSD. Again, really significant point of resistance, support, really key level. So I do think EURUSD is going to be heading into this area for next week. And a break of this area potentially could be seeing that 1.2 level starting to get tested here. As you can see, acting the resistance there, resistance, resistance, a really strong area of daily and weekly resistance will be turned uh, support. So I do think inevitably we could be seeing a move to this uh, area. Actually not inevitably, nothing is inevitable in the markets, but I do think we could be seeing a move into this 1.2 uh, area for USD. Again, you can see a really big push to the upside over 700 pips. You wanna see a retracement of that move sooner or later. I do think potentially you could see a move to the upside first though, before we do get that leg. As you can see, we did break through the trend line here. A lot of retail shaders will be going short um, on the break of that. Uh, trend line there so potentially could see uh, a push higher first maybe take up people's stop losses and then the move uh, into this area so probably don't want to just short this straight away um, because again you're shorting into a key level of uh, four hourly support here as you can see if i take this across really strong area of support we gapped up from it and saw so push to the upside and you can see failure to break through it again with a lot of wicks uh, to the downside there so you might see a push higher up first um, but I do think inevitably we're going to come not never to be I don't know why I keep saying that nothing's inevitable in the markets but I do think um, the higher probability is going to be seeing a move to the downside uh, into this area but we might see a push up first just to get some people uh, take some stop losses out and then see the drop for USD and if you break through that level I do think this is the next level at 1.2 area for USD next we're going to take a look at USD JPY Okay, so for UCJPY last week, one week analysis, I did say we'll probably see a push higher uh, to the upside here. As you can see, we did see that happen, but we did see a break of this level first. Again, just um, price taking up people's stop losses. Again, a lot of people would have been going long in this area. And again, stop losses just below the recent lows. And you can see that bearish candle just taking people out. And then we had uh, three bullish days to the upside uh, of that move to the upside, which we were expecting. So. UCJPY looking very bullish now on the daily chart, actually taking out this recent level here, um, that minor uh, swing high level, taking out that level. So we are looking very bullish here for USD. We still do have this trend line that I've been talking about um, on the daily chart. Again, we've had four prior tests to it. Initial test there, second test there, third, fourth. So again, we'll probably do that fifth test, uh, like I'm saying for a uh, while now so probably we'll be seeing a fifth test of this trend line here uh, for next week then i think probably see price roll back over to the downside again uh, potentially i'm not sure how far because we did see this impulsive move but again you can see that the structure the kind of um, price action we're getting here uh, on ucjp white and until we see uh, a confirmed break of this trend line then we'll probably start seeing uh, major pushes uh, to the upside but for now as you can see we're kind of still underneath this trend line still uh, obeying price action here you can see each time we get a move to the downside you see major pushes back up again then we roll back over as well so got um, appreciate and respect the price action we're getting uh, for ucjpy so i probably expect for next week another push into this uh into this trend line here for the fifth test and price just roll back over again 
but if you do see next week a strong break of this trend line and um, price holding the trend line as a support again probably see a longer swing back to the upside maybe back into 105 uh, 500 potentially and then uh, see a longer swing back to the downside but for next week a push into the trend line and then maybe a price roll back over again but if we do see a break of it again we can go a lot higher maybe to that 105 level or uh, 105 500 potentially and next we've got usd cad okay so for usd cad this week we didn't see too much happen price just kind of just continued uh, to roll over to the downside you can see we're still in this bearish trend here that was probably our, our last recent uh, major swing high then we saw price roll over and create some lower lows there i'm probably still favoring another push higher uh, for USD CAD, a major push to the upside, as you can see in the weekly chart, uh, we've had a big push to the downside. I still think we can come and get a test of this area here, around 1.3 potentially, uh, and then probably roll back over again and test that as a resistance. So I still think that could still happen, but the price action we're getting now might uh, indicate another swing to the downside first. Uh, you can see on the Friday time frame, uh, not too much has happened here. We did see a strong move into the downside there. And you can see here price is failing to break past this level of resistance here and you can see we had a strong push to the upside just before the uh the market closed for the week we had a strong push to the upside on the friday time frame the price came all the way back down and gave us um, that shooting star uh, pattern there so i probably expect to see a push lower uh for usd cad here a break of the trend line here and i probably expect to see uh, another push lower potentially maybe to that 1.26 level here uh, again and this 1.26 is a key level of support on the weekly chart here this 1.26 so potentially you can see a fall into this area if i go on the weekly chart you can see uh 1.26 level is this support here um so again very strong area of support uh it was, it was a, a swing low on the weekly chart it gave us this move all the way up to 1.34 so a very nice push to the upside on the weekly chart and that could give us the move needed um, to go and test this 1.3 level as resistance now and then probably see another swing back to the downside so i still think there's a little bit of room to the downside for use the cad before we start to see any major swings uh, back to the upside you can see the price action on the daily there as well if i clear this chart up we've got a lot of dojis there a lot of wicks to either side a lot of indecision and when you want to see put um, strong moves to the outside strong strong moves to the upside sorry counter trend moves you want to see some strong impulsive candles like the candles we're having there like the candles we're having there you can see right now a lot of indecision so probably roll back over to the downside maybe go test 1.26 and then we'll see uh, a nice push to the upside again uh, for usd cad up next is euro gbp okay so for euro gbp we did see a push higher uh, for this week i was expecting to see price kind of roll over to the downside and go and test uh, this key level here in the market we did see a push up I did say there is a possibility you'll probably retrace because of the kind of the structure we're getting for UGP is very up, down, up, down, up, down. So it's quite difficult to see uh, a very strong leg to the downside like that downside like that um but I probably do expect to see price now roll over to the downside uh for UGP back into this level here potentially, but at least to the recent swing low here um for UGP for next week. So I do expect you your GBP to, to look bearish for next week. The C price give us a nice move into the lows here. You can see we failed to take out the recent uh swing uh swing high in the market here. So again this was the recent swing high push the downside new low back up again that was our recent swing high again new low we failed to break it we tested it a couple of times with these wicks here we failed to break through it and price rolled over and actually breaking through this support here in the market you can see that on the daily with the price action there that doji that was an area of support in fact let me jump to the four hourly chart so you can see a very strong area of support broke through it now it's holding as resistance so i do expect uh UGP to roll over to the downside now at least to go and test this um, previous low here but i do expect a lower low maybe 0 0.9 level uh this level around here acting as support there or again all the way to the lows here for UGP for next week so i do expect price to roll over maybe you might see another push higher to go and test um um that resistance again but if we fail to break through that if we do see a push high and we fail to break through it then again the lower move will probably happen to the downside there but bias is still to the downside for you euro gp for next week i uh, probably will remain uh, to the downside as long as we stay below this resistance okay so up next we've got AUD USD. okay so for AUD, we saw another push to the upside this week and you can see price is still maintaining that uh very neat very tidy higher low higher high higher low higher high very um 
very strong uh, bullish price action right now you can see currently we're still failing to break through this previous area of resistance turn support in the daily time frame you can see this was the resistance here with the bearish candle broke above it still maintaining that higher low higher high and then you can see we're kind of retesting that right now uh, as support so we're still failing to break through that area so again, you, uh, ADUSD is still looking quite bullish. You can see the price action there as well on the daily chart. There's no real um, bearish price action there either. The previous candle uh, before the market closed on the weekend, Friday, it was a doji as well. So again, represents indecision. And again, you do expect some indecision uh, at support and resistance level. So again, for, you, for ADUSD, sorry, we'll probably see price maybe hold this area and see another push higher again. Uh, but if we do break through this area, I do think this is our, kind of our last uh, kind of swing low point. So if we do see a break of this level here, I do think one, uh, 0.74 is our next target um, for a counter trend move. Again, <clears throat> you can see similar to USD, we've had a big move to the upside again, over 800 pips this move. Uh, we'll probably start to see some counter trend moves happening sooner or later. Um, of course, as long as price maintains this higher low, higher high uh, kind of bullish uh, pattern there to the upside we can go on uh, for whatever how long price wants to go on for uh, but if you do start to see some uh, key levels getting broken especially this level here as you can see resistance there support there if you see a break of this level and price close below it i do think our next move is to 0.74 and we'll probably see more of a counter trend move to the upside there uh, for adusd but again we're still maintaining that i can't really call that decision with the price action we're having right now as long as price maintains this area here um, of support we'll probably see another push higher up uh, to the upside you can see on the Friday chart here we're kind of getting these lower swing highs here on the Friday chart so again as long as we hold this support here i will always expect to see a break of that trend line and a new high high uh, potentially and you can see it on the price action the Friday chart just before the market closed you had that uh, kind of hammer candle there um, push the downside and then we closed uh, bullish there. So probably expect to see a push higher as long as we hold this support for ADUSD. If we do see a break of that support, we'll come into this level around 0 0.6500, break through that level. I think 0 0.74 is the next target for ADUSD. Now let's take a look at NZD CAD. Okay, so for NZD CAD on the daily chart, we did see another push to the upside. I did say as long as price holds this uh, level in the market, we'll probably see another push uh, to the upside. As you can see, we closed here uh, for the week price test this level of support and we saw that another push to the upside for NZD CAD so again still looking bullish here uh, we did see some couple of bearish days down Thursday and Friday uh, again not anything significant uh, on the daily chart but it's showing some signs that we could be seeing a move lower you can see on uh, the Friday chart a very strong push to the downside so maybe you could be seeing price coming back to test this area here potentially again uh, a break of this um, support well, yeah, support on the daily chart, previous, previous resistance and support. Break of this level, I do think we could be coming to this level around here. Previous resistance there, support there as well. So around 0.90500, I potentially see a move to, the, to that level or maybe to um, 0.9 even. But I do think a break of this support here, that's the next area of price we'll probably go to for NZD CAD. But again, as long as price holds, that could easily see another swing back to the upside. This is a very strong area of daily support. You can see the momentum that we had when we, when we tested it as resistance, very strong move to the downside. So again, this is all support now. So as long as price holds that, I'll probably see another move higher. From a weekly point of view, we are testing a key level of uh, resistance though. As you can see here, but just take this all across. This is all a very key level of weak resistance. You can see a very big move to the downside, create new lows from that area. And we're currently testing again. You can see on the weekly chart, we're getting some wicks into that area. So again, we can easily see a drop to the downside again from the area. Um, so I need to bear that in mind. So again, like I said, if you do see a break of that level, uh, again, that will indicate that we're going much lower. Um, but I could easily see price coming to this level support give us one last leg to the upside, maybe create some higher highs, take out some stop losses uh, just above the highs here, and then see the drop, that could easily still happen. Um, but right now, friends of the CAD, we are looking very bearish on the Friday timeframe. Might see a break of this trend line here. We kind of, kind of haven't really had a break there. We have sort of closed below, but probably want to see another bearish candle there. So again, as long as price holds this trend line, we'll see another push higher first and then we'll see the move to the downside to go and test this level. Then a break of that level, we can go a lot further to that 0 0.9500 level potentially. Next up, we've got GBP NZD. 
Okay, so for GPNZD, we finally did see price break out of uh, the consolidation we were looking at for the past couple of weeks. Now, as you can see, this area I did say price probably break to the upside or to the downside. Um, again, that's the only way it could break to. So. Uh, pretty much inevitable to be fair but again we did break to the downside here i was talking about this level here it's the stronger level in the market so it probably will break to the downside but then again anything can happen in consolidation so again previous area of support in the daily chart big moves to the upside very strong area of support term resistance you can see multiple wick rejections at this level and we did break to the downside we were holding at this four hourly support level here uh, if we jump to the four hourly chart so again this is the four four hourly level of support and we broke through that finally and we are looking quite bearish now for gpnzd we are testing this level as resistance currently you can see we've getting rejected a few times uh, but i do think price maybe might give us one more push to the upside to go and really test um, that resistance we do have this support area here in the market uh quite major support on the four hourly chart a load of wicks of this area gave us a nice push to the upside this area will be term resistance and that could give us one more push to the upside to go and grab um, that extra momentum momentum needed to give us that push to the downside uh, for next week so i do think potentially you might see another push higher up to go and test that level and then a push lower to maybe 1.86 uh, or maybe 1.85 as you can see uh, really strong levels in the market 1.86 you can see we kind of stopped there, gave us a nice push to the outside, or might go to 1.85 and take out some new lows and uh, take out some stop losses just below the lows there. So again, could easily see a move to the downside here for next week. We are getting quite bearish price action here. Uh, you can see we're kind of getting uh, pushed to the upside, but prices keep getting rejected uh, from this level of resistance. So we might maybe see another push to the upside as long as we respect this counter trend line there. But if you do see a break of that trend line, I do think we're gonna get a nice move to the downside, maybe to 1.85 or 1.86 for next week next we're going to move on to cad jpy okay so for cad jpy this week we did see actually a push to the upside i was expecting to see maybe price uh, have another move to the downside since we did break uh, through some recent lows and i was expecting to see price give us a move to the downside we did see that bearish uh, engulfing candle there that's uh, probably expected to see price fall to the downside but as you can see we actually broke through that level and we're starting to look very bullish now so in fact i'm probably going to change my bias for this one and probably expect a break um, of this resistance to the upside here actually so you can see a very strong area of resistance uh, all across here so resistance there big move to the downside resistance there as well kind of keeping us in this range but i do think we could be seeing a break to the upside um, actually out of this range here you can see we're actually getting some higher lows and some higher highs in the market here so you can see this is our low here then we've got our next higher high higher low there higher high again that was our higher low so i do think we're probably going to see a break of this resistance and give us a higher high potentially uh, out of this um kind of um consolidation that we've had for the past uh, few months here so i do think kaji is going to break to the upside now again it still hasn't broken to the upside so this area is all very strong resistance so again probably going to see some pullbacks uh to start the week off potentially maybe into this area to, to uh 81 and then see the break to the upside as you can see uh, 81 was acting as resistance here so we'll be turned support so maybe you might see it moving to this level then see price go and break it to the upside but my bias now for cad jpy uh for the bigger move is probably to the upside uh, for next week or maybe the coming weeks uh, again strong resistance don't really want to buy into that i uh, probably want to see price pull back first but uh, I do think we're going to get a break of that level soon. Might see price fall back a bit to that 81 level potentially, and then see price go and break it to the upside. But I do think we can see a break to the upside for CAD JPY um, soon coming, um, either for next week or the week after. Up next is GBP USD. Okay, so for GBP USD, we okay so for gpusd this week we did see some retracement uh to the downside as expected uh last week we're at the highs here i probably say we're going to see a move to the downside to go and retrace that move uh for gpusd we're still uh respecting this previous area of um daily resistance and daily support as you can see here with this bearish candle that was the resistance push up um create some higher highs back down testing that area as support now so you can see on the Farley chart we're currently just moving sideways with consolidating and um, price is still respecting that area of uh, support so for me as long as price holds this i'm probably uh, looking for um, another move to the upside we do have this kind of trend line there so if you do break this trend line here probably see another push uh, back up to 1.37 uh, or potentially 1.37 
0.37500 if we look to um, break some new highs and uh, create some higher highs and continue that um, bullish trend for GPUSD because again like I said in the monthly chart we did see a breakout um, of this resistance here uh, again this resistance here we have seen a breakout of that so again as long as that's not a false breakout you could see a, a nice bullish rally to the upside for GPUSD uh, on the monthly uh, on a monthly perspective but currently right now um, jump to the four hourly chart we are kind of just uh, consolidating a little bit just above that daily support if we break if we hold that support and see a break of the trend line probably swing to the upside break of this uh, support probably see a swing back down maybe to go and test uh, this low here or maybe 1.3500 just above it so uh, anywhere in this area potentially uh, or maybe even further than that um, if you look for any major swings back to the downside because for GPUSD we still do have this bullish trend line uh, here in the market kind of giving us um, that basis for that uh, trend in the market so if you do want to really see a retracement in the market you could see a deeper move back in potentially to the trend line area before we see price uh, continue higher so in that case we could see a move uh, potentially to that 1.33 level um, or maybe even lower to the 1.32 potentially but, um, but again we'll probably have to call that uh, when we start to see some major um, levels getting broken so far you can see we are holding uh, that support area so again for me for next week if we do hold uh, this support area probably see another push higher a break of that counter trend line there in the market if you do see a price leak to the downside I do think we can come and test um, potentially around this uh, previous swing low area break for that go and go and test the trend line and go and test 1.33 potentially but so far we're holding that and as long as we hold it probably see another move higher uh, for next week uh, for GPUSD and last we've got GBP CAD okay so for GBP CAD for this week we did see a push lower price was respecting this uh, area of resistance there we did see a break of this trend line here so I was thinking potentially you could see price uh, maybe hold above this trend line at to support and see um, price probably potentially break through that resistance and break to the upside but as you can see here we did hold that resistance and we did see price kind of leap back under that trend line there and we are still looking very bullish uh, very bearish now sorry we are looking very bearish we just broke through the recent uh, swing low in the market there as you can see on the daily if we jump to the four hourly chart that was the recent swing low we've broken past that and we're actually holding on the four hourly as well so we are looking very bearish here uh, for GP CAD so I probably expect price to move lower might see some pullbacks into the market here since we've seen uh, a push lower in that you're going to expect some retrace in the market so might see another push higher back up again but i do expect price to move lower for gbcad for next week uh, maybe to go and test that um, 1.7 uh, 1.71 level or the 1.7 uh, 0, 0500 level as you can see we kind of wicked into this area so potentially go and fill that wick potentially for next week you can see on the volley looking quite bearish there as well so could see another push to the upside create that next uh, lower high in the market as you can see this was a high there then there was a lower high here and then we can see a lower high potentially uh, obviously we could easily just leak to the downside because we are looking very bearish but could see another lower high and then see another push back into that 1.71 uh, or again 1.7500 where you've got this key level of support there in the market so my answer for next week is to the downside for GBC. I might see some uh, retracement though so you need to watch out for that they want to just sell it straight away again the bulk of uh, this leg has probably already happened so i want to see some retracement first that point is but um, GBC to roll back over to the downside and go and test uh, these levels around there okay so that's the end of the video i hope you all found it useful and enjoyed it if you have any questions or if you agree or disagree with my analysis just drop a comment and i'll make sure i'll get back to you uh, but like i said it's the end of the video i hope you all appreciated it until the next one i'll see you later <music>